This will take you to an overview. The overview lists three consonants and three vowels that we learned in chapter one. It's got the Hebrew term. It's kind of a small font. You can copy and paste to make it larger. It's got the English corresponding name and then a reminder of the sound it makes. If you'd like to print that out, there's the print button in the bottom right corner. You can print it or save it as a PDF if you'd like to keep convenient lists. There's also the flashcard feature, so you can have it uh, show you the Hebrew letter first and then go to the bottom left corner where it says flip card over. Click that, it'll tell you it's a Lamed, it makes an L sound. You can go through all of the consonants and vowels. We've got Chirik, flip it over, makes an E sound. You can also have all the information displayed at once by clicking the full card option. So it shows you the Hebrew up top, the English name, and the sound it makes right below. You can also use the matching game to review. So if you take, um, let's say, Koof, pick up that card and carry it over with your cursor to the English equivalent, Koof, and it will reveal a picture of Israel in the background. You can also review with this memory game, which is also timed. So you just click on one card, see if it matches. Those did not match. There's our Seagull. Seagull. And again, it reveals a picture in the background. One of my favorite ways to review is with this asteroid space game. So you go down, click, I would recommend easy, and then English ship. It says Lamed. We're going to navigate by going up and down with our arrow keys and we want to avoid all of the asteroids except uh, we want to press spacebar and shoot a little missile at the correct one. So now we're looking for a Tav. Again, we want to avoid any asteroids that are not Tav. We'll be explode like that. Now we're looking for Lamed again. Let's see if we can get it in time. Okay, back to, I guess Lama and Tom are the favorites here. So, that's how this game works. You have three lives. And uh, the last way to review on this website is to take a quiz. So you identify the Hebrew letter. Remember that's a Lamed. Go down, click Lamed. You can check your answer to see if it's correct. And then go to the next word. And that is how to use Daber website to review the material from each chapter.